Hi my lovelies, I hope you're all well. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, give the video a thumbs up and leave a comment. So today I'm gonna to show you how you can install an SVG to your computer and bring it in to design space. There are amazing SVGs out there. So we've previously looked at how you can work with fonts, how you can bring in JPEG and PNGs. And today we're gonna to bring in SVGs. So SVGs are multi-layered images and it makes it nice and easy to be able to change them and play with them and basically do whatever you want to do with them. You can turn them into drawings, foils, you can change the colors on them. There are so many options. I am on Creative Fabrica, which is one of my favorite sites for SVGs, PNGs, JPEGs, pattern papers, fonts, you name it, they've got it. I found this SVG here, so all I'm going to do is select it and select download. And it's gonna start downloading to my computer. Normally there's a download area somewhere on your screen. It's normally at the bottom here. And there's three dots. I'm going to open that up and select show in folder. It will then take me to where my download folder is so I can double click it. And sometimes there'll only be one or two files in here. Sometimes there may be a load. So you can see we've got the PNG file there. So as we previously looked at, a PNG is a single layer image with the background removed. With this SVG, it's a multi-layer image. It will normally say scalable vector graphics and it will have either an Inkscape image like this or it may have a Google image or a Fari Edge image, whatever, it could be whatever um, search engine that you're working with. But it will normally be identifiable because it'll say SVG or scalable vector graphics. If you're unsure, you can normally narrow it down as well because the others will be things like a DXF, a PNG, a JPEG. They may say something like, encapsulated postscript which definitely isn't what you want so it'll either say SVG or you'll be able to narrow it down just like with JPEG and PNG I'm actually going to copy this across to my pictures so that it's easy for me to find and then I can actually remove this download file so that it's keeping my computer nice and clean I craft for personal use if you craft on a commercial level Normally there'll be a commercial license in here, um, so you may want to keep those as well, especially with the fonts. If we come into Design Space, we can go to Upload, Upload Image, Browse. Mine always opens up in my pictures, but it's easy to find your pictures. There's my SVG there. I'm able to see it in my pictures because my laptop allows me to. Sometimes you have to download an image viewer to be able to see them. But a lot of new Windows systems already have an SVG viewer installed. But as I say, you can install one if you need to so that you can actually see your different SVGs. I'm then going to open that. Now, unlike with a JPEG or a PNG, we don't get those other options. So we don't get the option to choose whether it's a simple or a complex image, and we don't get the option to remove anything. It comes straight in as we see it. Now we can turn this into a print and cut, but the option to bring it in as a print and cut is not available. It will bring it in as a cut file. And then if we wanted to change it to a print and cut, we could. Just like with JPEG and PNGs, we can give it an image name. And of course, I always say give it a tag so that if you're bringing in thousands of files, all you need to do is tag something like it, like Easter, and then you can search for Easter in your uploads and it will then bring up all of those images that you've tagged with that keyword. 
We can then go to upload. We can then select it and insert to our canvas. And you can see this one, it's brought them in all as complete separate layers. So what we would want to do is currently they're color grouped. If we go to make it as this stands, you'll see it's all over the place. Like this is just a complete mess because it's come in as individual layers. So what we would need to do in this case is actually attach or weld our individual color layers. So if I ungroup it, I can then see my different groupings. So there's one of my eggs there. I'm going to either attach or weld in this case. If you weld something, you can't unweld it if you save and close it down. So as long as it's not something like a cursive text that's overlapping or images that are overlapping, really, you just want to attach them. And you can either attach the individual eggs or if we're going to cut all of these out in the same color, if we come to our layers panel and we hold down our shift key, we can select all of those pink layers at once. And we know they're selected because they go a darker gray color. And then all we're going to do is select attach, which is down at the bottom of our layers panel. And that's then going to attach all of those pink layers together. So if I now hide that by using the hide key, you'll see that they all disappear because they are now going to cut as one color layer. The same with my orange, those are currently just grouped together. So all I'm going to do is attach them. And you'll see that those letters are already welded. So I only need to attach them because I'm not actually attaching anything that's going to affect the cut. So I can attach those and hide them. And then that leaves me with my green layers and nice and easy. I'm just going to draw around them because that's the other way to select them and then attach those together. So if I bring now back the ones that I've hidden and again, I do that just by unclicking that eye in my layers panel and we go to make it. Each of those layers will now cut exactly as I want them to. These videos are just an introduction. So as we go on through these, we'll look at more complicated actions. But for now, this is how you bring in an SVG and you get it color coded so that you can cut it the way it's meant to be cut or you could draw or whatever it is you want to do. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope this has been helpful and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.